We're on our walk today, and we're at one of our favorite stops, a little pony stable. My camera doesn't have zoom, so you have to pretend that you can see these horses. My kids love it. There's my husband and my dog. A little bit of a different route today. Normally I go down here to that house, and then come back down this road, so I go down on this side. But today, I'm going to go down and around this. Hope it's I just finished my walk with my extended route. I'm hot, I'm tired, but it was good. My husband had my dog, and so I only had the stroller with the kids today, but it was still a good walk. So I'm just about to start making up some dinner, and I want to show you guys what I'm using, because I'm very curious about the, I don't know if it's the main ingredient, but one of the ingredients I'm going to be using. Actually, I'm really curious about two of the ingredients I'm using today, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. Okay, so I'm making like a noodle dish, so I'm going to try using these tofu shirataki noodles. I've heard a lot about them and they're hungry girl, like she loves them and I've heard a few people like them. I know apparently they're supposed to be fishy smelling, but I'm really excited. It's only tw like 20 calories. Is that for the whole bag? Um, so there's 40 calories for this entire bag of shirataki noodles. And so I'm going to make something with that and then this uh, Philadelphia cooking cream. I bought the um, Italian cheese and herb flavor, so I'm going to kind of just Figure something out with asparagus. This is deli ham and the shirataki noodles. So we'll see what happens. Hi, kiddo. How do you like those noodles? Mm. Show me. Eat a bite. Oh, you got some in your mouth? Are they your new favorite? Take a big bite. Let me see. Oh, that was a big bite. Whoa, big noodles. They're really long. Um, um, what do you think? No, I know. Are they good? Mm -hmm. awesome. Okay, here is my first taste of the shirataki noodle mix. Uh oh, I got a long noodle. Uh -uh. <laughs> really good. Yes. Those noodles just seem like noodles with the right texture as noodles. They taste like noodles. I don't taste anything fishy. They did smell fishy when I first opened the package, but. Not anymore. Ow. Zoe, go get wet. Go on. Right now, go get wet. Go on, get in, bird. Hey guys, um, so I want to do a kind of a little report on my weekend. It was not a very good weekend for me. I don't know why I've been so off track. I know I've been off track for like a month and a half, two months almost, and it's kind of a joke, <laughs> but not a funny one. And so I'm really trying to get myself back on track, which was what those daily vlogs I kind of started last week were about, but this weekend I just, part of it was I forgot my camera and 
than I was going out when I did have my camera and just kind of felt awkward filming in public. I've never really been one who films in public much just because I feel a little bit goofy. And then things just kind of got crazy. I ate too much. I had too much treats. We went out and saw Conan the Barbarian <clears throat> on uh, Saturday and we went out with some friends and got ice cream and then had popcorn at the movie and then yesterday we went up to the canyon and had a campfire and had these really delicious kebabs that my friend made. I'll have to try to get the recipe because it was fantastic. But, you know, there was chips and cookies and s'mores and we tried s'mores with peanut butter cups, so it was a really bad weekend. But I'm on it today. I've already done my workout this morning, and I actually was kind of stupid about my workout today. I worked out before I'd eaten anything, and so now I feel really loopy and a little dizzy. So, trying to get over that. I actually didn't finish my workout. It was the 30-day shred, uh, stage one, I think. It was just on demand with my cable. And... So I'm not feeling my best right now, but I just sat down for breakfast, and I'm having a bowl of my Faya yogurt, and probably about a half cup, maybe three quarters of a cup of the yogurt, and then just some mixed fruit. It's peaches, some cherries that I've cut up, blueberries, and some mango. And then I've got my cup of milk. And then I'm going to go ahead and read the news. So that's my plan for breakfast while I feed my little one. So it's lunchtime, and uh, I watched a Hungry Girl episode on Food Network last night, and she did like meals that were ready in five minutes, and she did one that I thought would be really fun to try. I just so happened to have some shirataki noodles on hand, and that's like one of her favorite ingredients. It's basically just a tofu noodle. Um, I think that's really all the ingredients, tofu and water, I looked at it. But they're extremely low calorie, I mean basically non-existent calories. And she made kind of a mock tuna noodle casserole, and so I gave it a try. So here it is. And I've got this gigantic bowl. I mean, it's a pretty big bowl. And this whole bowl is like 270 calories, I think. And I doubt I'll eat the whole thing. But what it is, is uh, I, she didn't put peas in it, but I wanted to put peas in it. So they're frozen peas, the shirataki noodles, cream of mushroom soup, and then a little bit of seasoning. So I'm eating that with a cup of my fruit. It's pitted cherries blueberries, mango, and peach. I've got some grapes that we froze, and they're kind of weird. They have a different texture and some veggies, and my kid's eating that too with some pink milk, and the baby, she's going to eat a delicious puree. And then I'm going to continue reading the very important news. Growing up, Jolie Pitt, I haven't gotten to that article yet, so important news here. So that's our plan. Having a little afternoon snack. It's yogurt, so about a half cup or so of the Faya yogurt, and then about a half cup of fruit. Just the same cut up fruit I had earlier for breakfast and lunch. No snack. So that's my snack. Hey, it's the end of the day. Uh, I didn't record what I ate for dinner because I was out. My good friend's father passed away, and tonight I went to a viewing to kind of wish your condolences to the family and whatnot. I don't know. Everybody has the viewings the night before a funeral, but um, I went to that, and it was kind of a rough night, you know, it's not ever fun when someone passes away, and tomorrow I'll be going to the funeral, but um, because I was going to this viewing tonight, I ate dinner out, so I went to Chick-fil-A, and I got one of their just regular chicken sandwiches, and um, a diet lemonade, and a fry. And at the funeral, or not the funeral, the viewing, they had some uh, peanuts and jelly beans. I guess when they asked his grandchildren what they remembered or liked best about their grandpa, it was that he always had jelly beans and peanuts. So I had a little cup of peanuts and jelly beans, so really not much calories in that. But um, when I got home, I think it was a bit of an emotional eat. I had some macaroni and cheese that was left over from what my kids had for dinner, or well, my oldest daughter, 
and I had some potato chips. So all in all, it wasn't my worst day, but I ended up at 393 calories over, so 2,609 calories today, so not my best, but um, it is what it is. I'll move on tomorrow and keep moving forward and keep trying. So I'm hoping tomorrow I won't have a hard time with emotional eating because, you know, obviously I'll be at the funeral and it'll be a lot more emotional hearing them talk about this man. My friend and I, we became friends when we were very young, five, six, and I've been friends with her ever since and we were very close and I spent a lot of time at their house. So it's really sad to see her father pass away and it's a very tragic story. He was driving and a young boy who lived in their neighborhood, you know, 16, I think, 17 maybe, was driving too fast, ran a stop sign and ran into their car. Um, and my friend's mom and dad were both in the car. Hit the driver's side, so hit the father who was driving. And um, as a result of the accident, he had a severe heart attack. And they weren't able to operate because he was too unstable because of the accident and the injuries he sustained from the accident. So it was just such a tragic story. He lived for about two months and spent the majority of that time in the hospital, so it's very sad. But um, as far as things go, today was an all right day. I did exercise. I did a Jillian Michaels, I don't remember what it's called, but I think I reported that earlier. Um, and so that was good, although I found myself really feeling busted and I'm still sore, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to be pretty sore tomorrow. I'm hoping to get a workout in in the morning before I go to the funeral. So we'll see how things go with that. But uh, all in all, pretty good day for me as far as things go. <laughs> Have a good night.